guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back so today is a hair tutorial as promised i'm actually filming it i'm using my babyliss curler to achieve this look this is one of three tutorials so i will be doing two more with two different curlers that i absolutely love um well one's a straightener one's a curler but today is the babyliss wand and i think this looks really lovely it just gives that nice kind of like loose wave effect and this is the hairstyle that I've been going to like every single day recently um so yeah if you would like to see how I achieve my curls like this then keep watching okay so obviously first of all I dry my hair and I use the GHD hair dryer what is this one called I'll link it down below it's super good it dries my hair so quickly um but because I'm using heat on my hair literally every single day I will use um a heat protector this one is from Kerastar so I just put a tiny little pump in my hand and then I just run it through my hair Okay, so drying my hair, I'm literally just gonna split it in two. I usually just do like the very top layer and then the rest of it. So I normally have clips that I clip my hair up with and I have absolutely no idea where they are right now. I mean, I was literally using them yesterday right here and I have about six of them, so I don't know where I've put them. So I'm gonna just tie up that top layer with the hair bubble and then um, start blow drying my hair as normal. I don't use any tools or anything, just literally blow dry it. And then just to get a tiny bit of volume, I kind of just take each section and blow dry it from under. This is not a good jumper to dry my hair in because it's getting all stuck down the back so I'm gonna go change, give me one second. So it looks a bit weird there with that like lump <laughs> but um, it does look fine once you've curled it. So that side's done, I'm gonna just do the other side and then I will go onto the top layer. bottom layer done and then I just got onto the top section. I don't um, flip the top section up for volume, I just kind of blow dry as normal. Okay, so as promised I am going to show you the three different ways I curl my hair with the three different curlers but today I'm going to use this fabulous one because I think this is the one that I probably get asked about the most and also the one that I am um, using as like my go-to right now so i just put it up to the highest heat setting the only two things i need for curling is a clip for sectioning or a hair bubble because i don't know where my clips are and then hairspray i use this l net one but um only because i've been using it for years like i don't really have any loyalties to any hairspray um but yeah i think it works great so in terms of sectioning i just take again the very top kind of like layer and then i'll just stick that in a bubble so it's out the way I'm gonna just split my hair into two and um, where this top piece is I'll just bring it over to the side that I'm not curling um, so I'll leave it there for the minute and then I'm gonna start curling from the back through to the front so my heater has heated up this is the only thing about this heat um, curler I would say that it actually takes quite a while to like get to maximum heat whereas like the GHD one you literally turn it on and wait like 30 seconds but it's fine so I'm gonna try and show you this from the back so basically I'll do one from the front actually first so you can see what I'm doing and then I'm going to turn around and you'll have to just watch it on like a time lapse I guess. So I take a bit of hair about this thick so it's not too thin and not too thick. Um, I think thinner and not really thin pieces but pieces about this size work really well with this hairstyle. So I'm just going to start curling from about there and I always will leave the end out. So let me try and show you how much end I have. So I have that much end out and I think it's, this is like key to this hairstyle is leaving the end straight. Hold it for a few seconds and then I let it sit and I don't touch this layer at all until the very end. So that's the first curl done. I'm going to just turn around and show you how I do it um, and then we will crack on. So I'll take a piece again about here. I'm going to sit to the side so you can see. So I'm going to curl it again and then just leave this end bit out and hold it for a few seconds and then I'll literally not touch it I'll just leave it behind me can you see behind me like that um, and then yeah just literally repeat that all the way around I do these all the same way so I do them all away from my head 
so I'll just show you again so I'm just gonna do about it's about two wraps I would say on my length of hair and then just leave the ends out with this if you curl them a little bit too much you can always just go through at the end with a straightener and straighten out the ends um but yeah so I'm just leaving it like so show you one more and then we will speed this up so again about two curls this one's maybe a little bit longer so I'm going to just take it around to the front but as long as that end bit there isn't being wrapped around the barrel you will achieve the right hairstyle also sorry if I'm like staring at you very weirdly throughout this I don't have a mirror um, to see myself in so I'm using the viewfinder around to the front view pieces now and again I'm literally just doing the exact same so two wraps and then leaving the ends out okay so that is that side done um, I'm not going to touch it but as you can see it's not really taking much so I think this is why I really love this hairstyle as well when I curl my hair with like the GHD curler and I do it a little bit more like curly it brings like my hair up quite a bit so it takes off quite a bit of the um, length Whereas this one, as you can see, hasn't taken off barely any length. And then I literally just pop this, all this, over this side of my head and then start doing the exact same on this side. I do find this side a lot harder to curl. I think because my arms don't, like, bend in the same way. So, like, for example, when I'm doing this, this one, I can't, like, see it. I have to just do it by blind. <laughs> clip which is very handy because I actually really need it for this next step so now that that's done I just hairspray that layer but I always kind of like to hairspray like upwards so if you can see I'm not going to cover it either I'm just going to do like a little bit of it so I kind of start up here but then I like to come from below and at the end is when we like set the hair so I'm not really fussed about like making it also I'm not like brushing through anything I'm literally just trying to hold these curls in whilst I do the top layer so again I'm coming from like up Okay, and then, bring, I have never been able to do my hair and not eat hairspray, I swear. This is how the bottom layer has turned out. So I'm just going to clip that loosely. And then we're going to work on the top layer. So I just take my hair bubble or my clip out, spin it back down into the parting. And then I'm going to do the same. in this is what it looks like fresh off the barrel and also as I said you can go in and like add in some curls but I just really like the like result it gives it doesn't look too neat it doesn't look too curly so I'm gonna just kind of place it and hairspray it so again I'm spraying kind of like upwards and I'm kind of like pulling the hair apart as I'm spraying up just to make it that little bit more like messy and then the same on this side so kind of like pulling it up and then yeah that's basically it I'm just placing it making sure I'm happy with how it looks I think that this side of fringe can do with a little bit more of like a push away so maybe just kind of bend the hair in the middle there and get it to sit up here 
that is how I do my hair literally every single day at the minute if I'm using the Babyliss curler and um, I have two different ways if I'm using the other curlers but this is definitely my go-to style I also think because the waves are already like loose it doesn't really fall out as quick it kind of just keeps its shape whereas when I do like proper like not ringlets but proper more like curls they fall out or seem to fall out a lot quicker but yeah because this is already loose I think it doesn't really bother me when it starts to fall out it looks um nice still so yeah, that is how I do my hair. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna just show you it from the side and the back and then I will wrap this up. So this is it from the side and the back. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Everything I use will be linked down below as usual. And I'll also pop in the other hair colors that I use just in case you want to have a look at them as well. But tutorials will be coming very soon on them. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I will see you in my next video. Bye.